And through some of the Premier League games that are taking place this weekend, we've already seen the first one uh, take place at the City Ground. Nottingham Forest 2, Sheffield United 1. Um, wasn't a particularly great game, if I'm honest. You know, it, it well, was, if we're both being honest, it's like really watching a championship game. Well, it, well in some ways, it, well, well, it, it, it kind of is a little bit, isn't it? I don't want to disrespect the sides because they're yeah. in the Premier League, but I think the fans will know what we're saying. I mean, a couple of years ago, this... This would have been a championship yeah, game. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, um, but if, you know, Sheffield United... The, the goal that Chris Wood scores, Gemma. I don't know what their defender well, was no, doing. There's three around him. He has look. He's a giant. He's dived right? and missed the ball. He hasn't jumped. No, he hasn't jumped. At you all. know, you don't mind if if a, if there's a good ball coming in, and he has to really work to get his header away, and maybe muscle a few defenders out the way, and he and he gets good header heads. It, he sometimes say that's a brilliant header. Could have defended this one. There is the Sheffield United players. There's three around him. He hasn't had to jump. I'd be if you're Hegemon, he is going to be absolutely fuming. He had two that. defenders in front of him. The first one stood still, thinking the next guy behind him is going to probably clear mm. it. That the guy behind him done a diving header and yeah. misjudged the yeah. ball. He misjudged the ball completely. Chris Wood was just standing there. Didn't like I said, didn't leave the ground. I thought, oh, thank you very much. Spun his head. Yeah, it's not work I, I bet he can't believe Corner. his luck that not only did it land on his head, that he managed to swivel it and get it and swivel get it aside net in. I mean, it's a good head. The easiest, the easiest goal they'll probably score in the Prem. Well, it, with he his head. He, he hasn't. Yeah, and he, look, yeah. he's always he six four or something like that. Normally, he has to out jump him. Yeah. Oh three seven one seven double two double three double four. If you're uh, at the City Ground and Leeds United one, West Bromwich Albion one. Uh, West Bromwich Albion's goal, Thomas Sante's goal, would if it was in the Premier League, would have been disallowed. It's come off his arm. We know then the laws. It would not have stood. But again. It wasn't a particularly great game, Jamal, was it? I mean, it was, yeah. it was a championship game. It, 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 it's, it, sometimes it's about trying to find a way, and Forrest found a way. Leeds United got themselves back from a 1-0 down. If they'd, if they'd lost that game, wow, the, the, the pressure would certainly have been on Farker. Yeah, because you don't want to start chasing. It's very difficult. doesn't matter what league you're in. And I mm. think Leeds right now, you know, at the start of the season before the kick to ball, I had these as, you know, probably... One of the one of the three to go up, and they just can't find no. the momentum. They just can't find the or cope with the championship at the moment. No. It's just a different kind of style of play from the Premier League, and they're just not getting used to it yet. And it's going to take a while for them to really all click together mm. and, and manage the championship because mm. it's a different, you know, kettle of fish down there. So horrible, horrible, tough league. It is, and they they know that they weren't that there that long ago to be honest. Yeah. And to be also when they got promoted. If you're either of those games, the City Ground or Ellen Road at 3 Seven one seven double two double three double four. Let's go straight to the lines. We're no further ado. Let's go speak to Richard, who's a Forest fan. Richard, good evening. Welcome to the show. Evening, guys. How you doing? All right, Rich. You're at the City uh, Ground, right? Yes. Uh, terrible, terrible <laughs> performance. Um, seat of the pants stuff, really. I just think it's totally unacceptable. Sheffield United, toothless. First home game of the season. Look, we come out, all guns plays in first 10, 15 minutes, got a goal, and then just sort of drifted to like 70, 80%, and, mm -hmm. and there was no pickup. And uh, we were just sort of coasting. You can't coast 15 minutes into, in, into, into a match. And to be honest with you guys, we're lucky to get out of there with... We would have been lucky to get out of there with a draw, let alone winning tonight. It was just... I, 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 well, Sheffield Giant didn't, didn't do that much, though, up. Rich, did they? They did. They, they, you say lucky for a well, draw. McKenna made a blunder at the back, but they had a, a Turner kept us in the game in the second half. Mm. Turner yeah. made that, yeah. that great save down yeah, to his right. I just, yeah, yeah. I just think we were 2 0 up last season. I watched us 2 0 up against Bournemouth, threw it away, lost 3 2 at home. 2 0 up against Fulham last season, lost 3 2. And I just think you've got to learn from your mistakes of last season. Cooper should have learned from the mistakes of last season. He should have drilled the players to make sure that we kill a game off when we got the opportunity. And they were there for the, they were there for the taking in the first half. We could have, should have been going in 3 0 up, job done. But we haven't learned from last season's mistakes. Cooper stands there on the sideline like a statue. He's clueless. At half time, they come out, Rich. they change the system. Rich, this is, they, they Rich. Change, this is, this is scathing, the Rich. They, cha they changed the system. They got a goal. They got an equaliser. He's scratching his head. He's talking to Tate. He's talking to Ray Reed. Didn't know what to do. Rabbit in the headlight stuff. Rich. He should have learned from last season's experiences. The guy's a legend. I appreciate everything he's done for the club. I'm happy, are you? He's an absolute legend. He always will be. But for us to go to the next level now and not be fighting a relegation battle, I think we've seriously got to consider a change of manager. Do you, do you know? Uh, do you know sorry, Rich. Jabba. Sorry, sorry, Jabba. Sorry, sorry. Rich. Yes. 
What? It's, repeat those words back to me again, please. The guy's a legend. He yeah. got us promoted. Yeah. Appreciate everything he did for yeah. us. The reason we stayed up last season mm. was because of the city ground and the 29,500 fans. Oh, yes. oh, oh, oh you, you, you the kept them up, did you? Jason, let me finish. Let me finish. You asked me a question. 29,500 fans that got behind that team yeah. and created an atmosphere like no other. When we are in the mire... The, we get nothing out of the manager. I was sat in the front row of the main stand tonight. The technical team, the technical team was saying to was saying to Cooper, Brendan's at eighty percent. No reaction. Nothing. He needs to react. What do you think our away? How do you know? How do you know what they were saying? What do you think our away? How do you know what they were saying, Rich? How do you know what they were saying? Because I could hear them. I was front row. I was literally sat behind a dugout. You could hear them. And what are they saying? Brendan's at eighty percent. Yeah. Brennan's at 80%. They're there with their iPads, yeah? They've got the vests on. They know the work rate. He calls Brennan over. Come on, let's have a little bit more. Let's have a little bit more out of you. He didn't get any more out of Brennan. Take him off then. That's Make the thing. Why do you, th you think Rich. our waveform last season was so bad? Jason, well, well, that. Well, I mean, you were terrible away from home. Yeah, why was it? Why were we so bad? Because of the players well, you had? What do you think? Well, I mean, there's a number of reasons why, because you're not a very good side. But do you know what, though, Rich? Going back to the point you're making about the reason the fans... Yeah, you've gone right. to, no. to the question, Jay. Well, no, come what do you want me to say? You were terrible. Tenth, tenth best you, home record. Yeah. Terrible 20th away form. Yeah. Why were we so bad? But, because but, we relied on our manager. No, that's... No, and, we were, no, and that was all, do, we, that was all Rich, we could rely Rich, on. do you know what makes me laugh about this, right? Is that you're not giving him... You, you'll slaughter him for his away form, but you I'm won't give him any... Him. You just did. You won't even sat. No, I'm, you won't even sat. I'm for us to go to the next level. Yeah. For us to go to the next level. Yeah. We spent... 150 plus million. We've got a great squad. We've got a great team of players. We are a cut above Sheffield United. And we're scrapping it out. I'll getting tell you what it is. There. I'll tell you what getting it is. Getting out of there. We're getting out oh. of there. In oh. the 90th, 80 something minute with Chris Wood. Scramble gold. It's not good enough. No, it's not. It's, you're right. You're right. It's not good enough. It's not good enough. It's, but it's not good enough, right? Because what it is, the players are thinking, right, this is Sheffield United. They just got promoted. We're a lot better than them. They're not going it full hearted. You see Chelsea come to last season, Chelsea, Liverpool come to <coughs> your ground. It was a different game. It was a different uh, a different team performance. The fans were all behind it. And teams didn't like going to the city ground because it was difficult. And they supported those performance, need, knowing that they needed to put in those performance. They're coming up against Sheffield United and they're just going in half-hearted. And they could have came away with nothing. That was a that was that was a hundred percent agree. And I tell you what, I have it on good authority. Yeah, I'm close with somebody. I know. Go on, give me some names, Rich. Close. Give me names. I'm very I'm very close with a guy who played for Nottingham Forest last season. He's not there this season, and right. he played under a lot of good managers. Right. And do you know what he said about Cooper? Really, really nice guy. Yeah. But he's too soft. He's far too soft. When we need a kick up the ass at half time, yeah. we don't get it. What do you think, Marion Arcus stormed the dressing room? Last season and pasted Cooper yeah, he's, and the team. Why's why your mate? Why's your mate not there anymore? What do you mean? Why is he not there anymore? Well, you said he left. Yeah, he's not playing for Forest anymore. Yeah, why? Because we didn't keep him on. Well, he's got an axe to grind, doesn't he? He's never going to say anything nice about manager when the player gets released. He didn't say it last week. He said it halfway through the season. Well, if, did he? How, how much did he play? Or. Uh, how much did he play? He played about eight games. Well, there you, there's your answer. Let, let, stay there, Rich. Rich, um, stand on stand there. Interesting call. Speak to Luke, who's a Nottingham Forest fan as well. Luke, a good evening. Welcome to the show. How you doing, mate? You all right? Yeah. Um, you've got uh, a, a fellow Nottingham Forest fan here, Richard, who's gone in hard on Cooper. He's a Forest fan. He's a Forest fan. Is he? Yeah, go on. You two speak. What's, what's up, Rich? You want Cooper out? You're from a Forest fan, Richard, say. Uh, well, we just got in car after the game and we first thing we've heard is uh, if we need to get to the next level, we take Cooper out. We just won a game. After winning a game, uh, so we just turned it off and rang up. That was that was the base of the note. <laughs> All right, well, it was enough. Go on, was, we hear enough of that in the ground, but I didn't think we'd hear it on the radio. We didn't think it was actually clear for us. It was just Twitter talk, really. Right, OK, Richard, um, you've had plenty to say. Anything you'd like to say to Luke? Well, I've already said what I need to say, haven't I? I've been going. I've been a season ticket holder. I've been going to the ground for twenty-five years. Sport my team home and away, 
And what I'm saying is, to take us to the next level, to take us to the next level and not be scrapping it out, sitting on the edge of our seats, hoping and praying that we can stay up, I think we need a more experienced yeah, Premier League what manager. About, what about last year when we was 5 nil down to Arsenal with 20 minutes to go? Do you, not, did, do you not think last week's an improvement when we come back? That's the wrong men- that's, so that's the wrong, that's the wrong mentality, isn't it? You, you want me to celebrate us only losing 2-1 as opposed to losing 5-0? Well, they're they're going to fight for the league, Arsenal. What do you expect going to the ground? The, they've got the best right winger in the league. We, we're against we, the side tonight where last year, if you remember correctly, we were 2-0 up to Fulham at half-time and we was 2-1 up to Bournemouth. We lost both games. Tonight, we've come back. We went 1-1. Last year, we dropped our heads. Don't get me wrong. We don't want to be sat there scrappy all day. I, believe, I understand that 100%. But the thing is, who do you get? Why, why would you want anyone else? you got a man... I mean, five years ago, we had Philippe Montagnier. So, do you forget where we've come from? We'd had no right to start no. last year. We did it. This year, we're three points on the board now. We fight last week. We go next week. And... We're just, just ten times so better team. So, so, We're signing so the midfielder. You, so you, so you, enjoy, you enjoyed that tonight. You thought that was a good performance, did you? Thought that was that was a stellar performance. You think the the, guy, the boys but, were up but, for it? You, you think got, that was an acceptable level? You think that was an acceptable performance for the first home game after just having a summer off against Sheffield United? What? So uh, a local rivalry who's got everything to play against us because we knocked them out of the playoff. They absolutely ate us. You didn't think they was going to come and fight. They did last year what we should have done on away games. They did it to a T. We got lucky. We scored. We, we take the three points. He knows that's not good enough. We know that's not good enough. But to say you want him out, it's delusion. 25 years. You've watched us too long. <laughs> Look, I think, guys, you've got to say like, that the performance against Arsenal, you would take that all day. You said, yeah, it was oh, a yeah, bad yeah, performance. Yeah, you know what I mean? It was a bad performance. And then you, you think the game tonight, yeah, OK. These, sometimes these games happen. You play against teams yeah. who you think you should be um, putting their better performance. And you don't put in the performance, but you get the three points. End of the day, that's what's going to matter come, you know, 38 games down the line when you look, right, we've got three points here. We might not play great, but we've got three points. Not every team plays amazing at home every game. Well, Man United midweek, I don't think that game, they guys. got walloped by Wolves, but they was happy to come away with three points. Yeah, exactly. You, you take the three points, and you, what you say is, yeah, we don't want to be scrapping every game, but yeah. we've got, we've still got our main defenders injured. And I get what Richard's saying. You don't want to see these performances week in, week boys, out, home boys, at home. Boys, I get that. We get you. Get that. The boys, it's weren't game the, the, boys weren't, the boys weren't up for it tonight. That's my problem. The boys weren't up for yeah, it tonight. But that in the right to ring up and say you want Cooper at. Right. They were up for the first fifteen minutes. What I'm saying is there should have been there should have been changes made. The team should have been motivated at half time. I didn't see I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything from the team after we scored. It wasn't good enough. We, 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 but we scored. We, we won. Lucky. The changes that you say that Cooper we, should have made. We, we flew, we flew to victory. Cooper stood there sweating. He was walking around the ground at the end, thinking, "Christ, I'm still in the job. Thank God for that." Because he knew we would have been under threat if we had a lost night, and we nearly did lose. What, what, we, we, we're not. You've got to just be real about it. We're, we're not West Ham, and we're not. We're not these teams who've been here for years. We're going to scrap for wins, and we did last year. We beat Arsenal one one nil last home game of the season. It kept us up. Was you not happy with the scrappy performance then? I think just give it to 10, 10 games. Give it 10 games, guys. Yeah. Give it 10 games. Still We're going to leave them squabbling. We're going to still go. Uh, yes, yeah. it's, uh, you are listening to the Sports Bar Weekend. He's Jermaine Bennett. I'm Jason Cundy. The Sports Bar with Jamie O'Hara and Jason Cundy. Monday to Thursday nights from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.